So uh, without further ado, I do want to uh, do a reading about the retrograding of Pluto, how it's affecting us as a collective, and hopefully you will enjoy this video. I will do more videos on other planets and placements and and a lot of people do sun signs, but I want to get into the gist of like, you know, that's why I'm saying go to your birth chart and definitely know your birth chart because, for example, my sun is in Scorpio, Sag, Cusper, uh, my moon is in Aquarius, um, my Mercury is in Scorpio, and, and so forth. My Venus is in Sag, and it's like, and so we have a little bit of every sign in our chart. It is our soul contract. People call it our soul contract um, or your blueprints. And, and it's it's pretty intense if once you get into the astrology, um, you know. So I want to start with the Chrysalis Tarot deck. And I, ooh, you would not believe what just came out first. <laughs> Oh, spirit, I didn't even do any type of talking here. But you know what? I did meditate and shuffled the cards before I started. And guess what came out? The devil. So in this Chrysalis um, Tarot deck, um, you see this woman obviously doesn't look like the devil, but um, she's very beautiful. Um, I've seen women in tarot deck reading and uh and so we'll start with the devil <laughs> pluto and capricorn in the house hello all right so um interesting that is so interesting uh i know my introduction was pretty long and it, it'll get shorter but uh it is my first video in uh on youtube and <sighs> amazing I'm, uh, I'm never amazed on how spirit just does that all right all right so again we're reading about Pluto retrograding in the sign of Capricorn and how it's affecting us as a collective I'm gonna stop there okay um, so clouding, cloud, clouding the reading is the world. That's interesting. So we have here, <sighs> I'm sorry, I'm just reading the cards now. All major arcanas, by the way. So I have the devil, which I just showed you. We have the devil. We have the sun. Beautiful because all planets do retrograde around the sun, right? Um, or they do go around and orbit around the sun, right? That is this, our solar system. We have the Hierophant. It's also a major arcana. It's in the reverse, though. Um, in this... Uh, interesting. In this deck, it does have a little baby in it. with. Um, she's inside a shell. Very cute. Um, and we have the justice in reverse, um, came out this way, but I'm just showing you. And cloud in the reading is the world. Isn't that beautiful? The illustrations are very beautiful. I'm sorry if you can't really see it. Oh my God. Underneath it is the emperor. I mean, major arcanas after major arcanas. <sighs> okay. Like, really? Seriously? Okay. We'll get into what's going on here. So, let's see. So, the fact that the devil um, came out first, um, what I see here, honestly, it's a new beginning. I'm not going to lie. So, like I said, the devil represents a, a lot of things, but, I mean, right after the devil is the sun, and, and if you, the way I'm seeing it, she's looking right at the sun. I'm gonna just get, put it a little closer, sorry. I need to figure out how to work this, but this is how it came out. Devil came out first and the sun. She's looking right at the sun. The sun represents happiness. And um, I look at her holding a rose and in and, and this mirror and 
she's all dressed up. What I'm really sensing here is a new beginning for the collective. Um, wiping away the pain that we have been through. Um, a lot of us have been through pain, um, whether losing our job, losing a loved one, um, the end of a relationship, um, all those are, are pain and, and, um, they could all have been toxic, um, because the devil does represent a toxic energy as well. Um, starting anew, uh, and that's what I see. I see that, um, and over here you see the infinity sign, really, it's like the infinity sign right here. You see it really close. All right, so and then we have, ooh, okay. So, okay, I just got uh, the chills. All right, so the next card is the Hierophant. The Hierophant came out in reverse. So what this tells me is status quo out the window whatever that is for you whatever that represents to you society um you know trying to fit in trying to become what everybody thinks you should be or maybe the relationship you should have been in um all out the window you know you're you're starting anew you're literally thinking differently like this is like you know oh my god I just realized that this is not what I want what I want is this passion of painting or um, having a starting a family or um, leaving my old relationship for a new one that I just met I mean um, changing my career I mean those are huge things and and what I see is starting anew being very happy wiping those tears away um, basically purging you know um, the the old so it's you know in in lame term lame terms and I'm gonna use lame but it's identifiable um, <laughs> basically out with the old in with the new all right and it and and the fact that the justice was in reverse right after that it just tells me that there was no justice there was no um, passion for what you were doing uh, you basically did not want to be in this state of being anymore in and, and, and it just clicked it was it's like oh my god this is not where I want to be so you may end up feeling this way um, definitely this year um, like I said uh, Pluto started retrograding uh, April 24th and it's gonna end October 3rd, but there will be a shadow period, you know, so you may feel it afterwards. You're feeling it now, but I felt it before. Mm, let's just say this year. And um, and I think a lot of people um, are going through this, definitely. Um, it could be in a very minor way. It could be in a very major way. And, uh, and that's what I see. I mean, literally, the fact that it's like the world is clouding it and then I see the emperor the world is in the upright the emperor's in the upright I, if I continue going on um, I'm not going to but um, so the world came out and then underneath the uh, world is the emperor and so the world represents um, either a new beginning, um, in my opinion, um, or the end. Uh, it is the last major arcana in tarot decks. Um, wow, I see freedom. 
I see this woman just starting a whole new life. And, you know, I may say woman or man, king, queen, whatever the case may be. It doesn't matter. We all carry masculine, feminine energies. Um, I'm, I'm working through energy. I am not working through, you know, man or woman. I'm working through energies. I'm working, I'm working, I'm working through or my abilities and a lot of tarot card reading has to do with energy. Um, the emperor represents, well, it represents a, a person that's starting a new business, but it could be any new ad, uh, ad, uh, adventure. I, I mean, it usually represents career, um, but that's funny because um, Capricorn is the uh, rules of planet of career, so. There you go. If it has to do with any type of career, I wouldn't be surprised that this reading has to do with career. Starting a new career, um, becoming your own boss or um, being promoted or, you know, taking a chance in, in asking for a raise uh, and getting it, um, you know. So yeah, I, I really just wanna stop there. <laughs> There's no need for me to clarify anything, but I do want to clarify. Um, I do want to clarify the devil. I'm not going to lie. I do want to clarify the devil. I'm a little curious about what the devil means. Oh, God. I just love that that card came out first. Um, and probably the uh, the world. Um, um, so 